Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. In this video, we are going to be removing and reinstalling an active grill shutter in a 2016 Ram 1500 pickup. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. I'm going to open the hood right under your steering wheel. This little lever pops the hood. The hood safety latch is right here. You're going to pull it to the left, pull up. Uh, we're going to pull this panel off. There's uh, some, um, some clips. You're going to use a clip tool to get underneath here. It's one over here too. It's easier if you go under it and pry up on it. You could go underneath the clip and pry, but sometimes you break the clip. So we'll just go underneath it, pry up. Pull this off and pull it out of the way. We're going to take these four bolts out right here. They're 10 millimeters. We use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. So down here, there's a clip that holds it in. Um, I'm gonna use a flat blade screwdriver. Um, these clips sometimes break, so just be careful. Just pop it out like that. And there's another clip further down. You can't see it. And then on the other side is the same. Clip right there. Pull that out. Then we're going to use some trim tools. Uh, we actually sell these at 1AAuto.com. Um, we're going to go under here. You want to be careful not to scratch the paint. But there it is. Some retainers under here. show you these better once the grill is out. Okay, right there. Up, and then we're gonna grab on the grill and pull forward. Release that one. There's one over here as well. And then there's also one in the middle. And then there's one more in the middle there. And the whole grill comes up. I'm gonna pull this hood latch cable wire out of the way. There's two 13 millimeter bolts right here and right here. I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter socket, an extension, and a ratchet. Take these out. Once you get it loose, you can do it by hand. Pull those up. Underneath here, um, there's some 10 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter bolt and a universal and a rat, uh, extension and a ratchet. Take these bolts out. Pull those out. Pull 
Now this is the last one. When we pull this one out, we're gonna wanna hold this up a little bit so it doesn't fall. Pull that out. So there's some rubber, rubber panels right here. We're just gonna pull those out of the way right here flip it down there's a wiring harness right here pull it up right here there's a little wiring connector here uh, there's a lock you can pull up on the lock like that i used a 90 degree pick you can probably use a screwdriver oh, it's gonna come up a little bit more Oh, and then you can push down on this little lock here for the harness connector and then pull it off. And then the active grill will come out. Your motor's right there, as you can see. We'll reinstall our active grill. Take the wiring harness. Plug it in and push down on the lock tab. Push down on the red lock to lock it in. I'm going to line these rubber pieces up in there. Fish those in through. Just like that. Push down on the red lock to lock it in. I'm going to line these rubber pieces up in there. Fish those in through. Just like that. I'm going to start with the 13 millimeter bolts. Just get it started by hand. And the other 13 millimeter bolt. Get these 10 millimeters in. Line that up down below. Before I tighten that one, I'm going to put the last one in. So everything lines up. Now that all the bolts are in, I can snug them down. Snug it down and snug this one down. Tighten these. 13 millimeter bolts. And snug it down. Remember it's plastic. You don't want to tighten these too much. Snug. So the cable, we're going to push the cable back into that retainer. I'm going to put this on. Keep in mind to keep this up, that little rubber piece, and line those up. I'm going to line these lock tabs with those holes. If you get it lined up up top, you can push in the bottom, and it should lock in. So we have these four 10 millimeter bolts that are going, going back in. Um, these ones are gonna go into the plastic, the ones that look more aggressive than the tighter threads. Those will go right there. And then these other ones are gonna go in the center into the metal frame. So we'll start all those first.
And we'll tighten these down with our 10 millimeter socket and extension and ratchet. Tighten it snug. And the last one. So we're gonna put this cover on. Get all the holes lined up for the push pins. Those in. And then right there. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.